Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. This morning devotion is entitled, God Sees You, by Karen Hum. Hear the word of the Lord this morning. You are the God who sees me. Genesis 16, verse 13. Early mornings can be painful for my friend Emma, a single mom of two. She says when everything is quiet, worries surface. As I do household chores, I think about our financial concerns and the kids' health and studies. When her husband abandoned her, Alma bore the responsibilities of raising her children on her own. It's difficult, she says, but I know God sees me and my family. God gives me the strength to work two jobs, provide for our needs, and lets my kids experience God's guidance each day. Hagar, an Egyptian maid service, understood what it meant to be seen by God. After she got pregnant by Abram, she began to despise Sarai, who in turn mistreated her, causing Hagar to flee to the desert. Hagar found herself alone, facing a future that seemed bleak and hopeless for her and her unborn child. But it was in the desert that the angel of the Lord met her and said, the Lord has heard your misery. The angel of God gave Hagar guidance on what to do, and he assured her of what the future would hold. From her, we learn one of the names of God, Elroy, the God who sees me. Like Hagar, you may be on a difficult journey, feeling lost and alone, but remember that even in the wasteland, God sees you. Reach out to God and trust God to guide you. Our thought for today. How can knowing God as Elroy, the God who sees, change your view of your current circumstance? How can you respond to God? Let us pray. Dear God, thank you that I'll never have to journey through life alone. I know that you see me and you will always be with me. Amen. Once again, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and please pass this devotion to five new people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.